Welcome to the Blessed Hope. Uh, this ministry is by our family. Every night we go through a particular part of the Bible as we study. We, as a family, are inviting you into our study. That the Bible says, for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ. I do these studies with my family so they can grow in the Lord, so they can know the Lord through the Word of God, by the Word of God, of the Word of God. It's the very importance. And we invite you to listen, to share, to learn with us too, the Word of God. We ask that you uh, share these, to give full liberty of sharing to your friends, to your family. We ask that you use these videos for the edification of the Lord Jesus Christ, and that you abuse not these videos. They are to work for the Lord Jesus Christ, for edification, for growth. We thank you. Revelation chapter 3, verse 7. And the angel of the church of Philadelphia, this is not USA, write, These things save he that is holy, he that is true. Jesus said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. He that has the key of David, he's going to sit upon David's throne. He that openeth, and no man shutteth, that's important, and shutteth, and no man openeth, it's important. I know thy works. Behold, I have set before thee an open door. That's important. And no man can shut it. That's important. But not for tonight. For thou has a for thou has little strength, and has kept my word, and has not denied my name. Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan. There he is again, which say they are Jews. Oh. So somebody who says they're Jew. Did you get the relation to with Satan? They even have a false synagogue. May they call it a hall. And not, but do lie. That's Jesus saying that, by the way. John is recording what Jesus said. Behold, I will. See, it can't be John speaking. Behold, I will make them to come. John can't do that. Behold, I will make them to come and worship before thy feet. And to know that I have loved thee. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience. I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation. Which shall come upon all the world. To try them which dwell upon the earth. Behold I come quickly. Hold that fast which thou hast. No man take thy crown. Him that overcometh. Again that's not us. First John 4 and 5 4. Will I make a pillar and a temple of my God, heaven? I, will, I shall go no more out. I will write upon him the name of my God, and the name of the city of my God, Jerusalem, New Jerusalem, which is New Jerusalem, which cometh down out of heaven from my God. And I will write upon him my new name. He that has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says unto the churches. Okay, now this church... It's 1750 to 1881. And I'll tell you why 1881 in a minute. There is no rebuke in this church. Other churches had rebukes. I I see your works, but nevertheless I have something against thee. There's none of that in Philadelphia. This is the modern mission movement church. Philadelphia brotherly love. We know that. So these are brethren marked by their love for each other. First John. Key of David. That's the throne of David. That's the reign of Jesus Christ. Re revivals during this church age. Whitfield, Wesley, Finney, Moody. I'm going to tell you with this church age. And with Lord willing, tomorrow night with the Laodicean Church Age, why we will not see a revival in the Laodicean Church Age. So Whitfield, Wesley, Finley, Moody. Go check those guys out. You know what Bible they carried? 
You know what Bible is the word of God in this church age? It's the King James 1611. Remind you, I said 1881. So, Philadelphia, these things saith he that is holy. That's God. That's Jesus. He that is true. Again, I already read to you John 14, verse 6. He that has the key of David, and he that opened it. God opened. Jesus opened. And no man shutteth. That's important for tomorrow's church days, Lord willing. And shutteth. And no man openeth. That's Jesus Christ in control. We'll see the next church age, Lord willing. I know thy works. We've seen that before in the other churches. God, Jesus Christ, the eyes of the Lord in every place, beholding the evil and the good. I'm sorry, sorry, I'm apologizing. I'm skipping along with my voice. I was preaching tonight, and my voice is good. So I'll try the best I can. I know thy works. Behold, I have set before thee an open door. Notice the open door, open door, open door, open door. You know, a lot of churches were took on the name. They took on the name Open Door Baptist Church. You can change that name, the lads are seeing church age. We'll get to that tomorrow night, Lord willing. Mm -hmm. And no man shut it, can shut it. So no man within the church or without the church can shut that open door. Wait till we get to tomorrow night's church, Lord willing. You stop and tell us. No, I'll tell you tomorrow night. For thou hast a little strength. You get that? They didn't have muscles. They didn't have iron. They didn't pump iron. They didn't go to the gym. They didn't do uh, martial arts. God says this church with the open door, you ain't got strength. But well, watch this. And has kept my word. Um... It's on this page. 1881. What in 1881? I'll tell you afterwards. I want you to hear the whole message. 1881. And has not denied my name. Acts 4.12. There's no other name given amongst men whereby you must be saved. I guarantee that the people during this age, they didn't press their name, but they pressed the name of Jesus Christ. Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan. Let's go to three, chapter 3, verse 9. That's not correct. 3, what I got? 2, 9. Chapter 2, verse 9. I know thy works and tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. I know the blasphemy of them that say they are Jews and are not. But are the synagogue of Satan. So what happened in the second church, Samaria, is now shown up in the sixth church. Here they are back again, proclaiming that we're Jewish people. Go check your religions and find out what people say they are Jews and are not. Check the dates. 1500 to, no, what did I say? Oh, yeah. 1750 to 1881. Check out the lay out this lay this out with history and events. I, I had I had done that. I never finished it, but I lost all the great things happened during these church periods. I had me a big book of, of dates and years and all that, and sorry to say it was lost. But somebody who proclaims they are a Jew and are not, God says, Jesus Christ says, is a synagogue of Satan. Now let me let me say something. Who says they are the, of the hundred forty-four thousand? With Jehovah Witness, and they call themselves the Kingdom. They will frankly tell you, yeah, we're the hundred forty-four thousand in the Book of Revelation. You know, what God just said in the Book of Revelation, you're a liar, and it's not a Kingdom Hall. It's the synagogue of Satan. We dealt with a guy tonight. He would deny flat route, deny three adults there to say that Jesus is not God. And I read to him in three witnesses, Acts 20, 28. And he still denied that that was that Jesus is God and God is Jesus. Brother, you are of Satan.
But the Bible says Revelation, same book, which say they are Jews and are not. The Catholic Church says they are Jews. They steal from the promises of the Jews. It, be, it goes to the church. Do they eat pork? Do they have lobster? Because if you want to be a Jew under the law, you can't have those things, can you? Ah, uh -huh. see, you make the law your own self. You know the the Seven Day Adventist Church, Seven Day Adventist. Yeah, Wait a minute. We don't have to do that. Paul says our is the first day of the week. Are not, but do lie. That's Jesus speaking. If you got a Bible with red letter, I suppose that's red letter. Behold, I will. Make them to come and worship before thy feet. Ooh. Didn't Paul say that we shall judge angels? So we're going to, we've had part in, I hope we haven't lost our rewards or anything. We've had part in the Jehovah Witness ministry of trying to witness to them. Imagine those people coming down before it's a great white stone. Judge, I'm sorry I didn't hear what you said about Jesus who was God. And you can ask my family, when I'm dealing with the Jehovah Witness, I will point to the fact is, and remain to the fact is, Jesus is God and God is Jesus. I do it in my public ministry. I proclaim Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. You take one of my videos, any of my videos in street ministry, you count how many times I mentioned Jesus. And then count how many times I, I use my own name. I think the entire ministry I have a preacher in the street that you got the videos you can get on YouTube and uh, SoundCloud. I bet you can probably count as many times I use my own name on both my hands. So come worship at thy feet and to know that I have loved thee. Imagine somebody involved in this religion denying God, denying Jesus Christ. Proclaiming a lie that they are somebody who they're not and they're going to they're going to bow down at the feet of Christians and proclaim that God really loved you. No, he loves me. Present tense. And their doctrine. Here, here's their doctrine. Works, not grace. They are deceivers. And we are warned by Jesus by Paul, by Peter, by Jude, by John. In the Old Testament, watch out for these people. They're in the Philadelphian church age. Maybe I should get the date. Or maybe let you study a little bit. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience. 1881. Why do you keep saying that? In 1881, here we go, here's your answer. The Revised Version of England. That is the first perverted Bible to be published. That shut the door. For England, 1881, the Revised Version of England. 1901, the American Standard Version became the American version of the Word of God. So the English version, 1611, it came out of England. The doors were closed, 1881. When England said, we don't want the Word of God no more. When England sent out all the missionaries during this mission, every missionary up to 1881 went out with a King James Bible. 1611 was the King James Bible. 1620, the pilgrims came over with the Geneva Bible, which is the Bible just before the King James Bible. The Geneva's Bible is called the Martyrs Bible because under the Geneva Bible, Christians were killed. And go back and check your history. The Geneva in 1620, why they bring the King James? The Geneva Bible is the Bible that, that carried the blood of the saints. And I think the King James Bible came over later. I forget what year. And, and you can find it if you look on if you look online. You can find out when it was first published, printed in America. So my word, because that was kept the word, the King James Bible. 
Now, what's it say about the King James Bible? There's no other Bibles. Because they have kept the word of my patience. The King James Bible is the word of God's patience. Isn't the word of God by what you get saved? Isn't God long-suffering, not willing that any should perish? That we ought to preach the Bible? There it is. We just summed up ever since Romans that a person needs to be saved by the word of God. And here we see the word of God, the patience that God's long-suffering. <coughs> I, Jesus, also will keep thee from the hour of temptation which shall come upon all the world. So there's a temptation period coming upon the world that the church will not be part of to try them that dwell on the earth. Behold, I come quickly. Hold fast that thou hast, and no man shall take thy crown. You found in John, 3 John 8, there's a possibility you can lose your crowns. It's a Bible doctrine. And 3 John 8, without looking at it, well, let me go over here and look at it, I can tell you. 3 John 8, it says, 2 oh, John 8, 2 John 8, Look to yourself that we lose not those things which we had wrought, but that we receive a full reward. So, teaching that a person can lose rewards is doctrine. This is the greatest church of all the church movements besides the first church. They're missionaries. Not your soul, your reward, a crown, the right to reign. And even in this greatest time, it said you can lose your crown. Lose a crown. Lose. That ought to be the hymn sung in most modern churches today. You know, instead of wear a crown, lose a crown. Lose a crown. Wear a frown because I lost a crown. Right, I'll stop. He that overcometh, that's not us. Will I make a pillar in the temple of my God? That pillar is in heaven. We're going to see it later on in Revelation. He shall go no more out. Again, the tribulation period, verse 12. They are going, this church age in tribulation period is going in the temple and they're not coming out. What it says? He shall go no more out of the temple. That's the temple that God gave the blueprints to Moses and gave to David for Solomon to build. The history of that temple that is in the Old Testament is found in glory in Revelation. And I'll, we'll get off on uh, later on when we get to it on Indiana Jones why he couldn't find the temple and couldn't find the Ark of the Covenant. I got the answer. I never watched the movie so I don't know if he found it or not. I don't care. I know what the Bible says. I'll find it. Go no more out, and I will write upon him the name of my God, Jehovah. Jehovah. Now, that's not the Christian. God is not going to write upon us Christians in the church a Jehovah. On our, have you ever seen some of the pictures of the Jehovah Witnesses literature? They're stealing again. In the name of the city of my God, which is New Jerusalem. Now, there's only two times New Jerusalem shows up. Here in 21.2. Now, can you see John here? He's scratching his head. What, wait a minute. What's New Jerusalem? We'll get to that later, John. So you've been saying, come on, Stolly. Come on, tell us. No, even Jesus told John, New Jerusalem. I'll tell you later. <laughs> I'll tell you about that later. There's a whole much more before we... See, we got to do this in order. And right now, it's not New Jerusalem time. But I will... The city of God, New Jerusalem. That's my home. That is my home. I'm a pilgrim. Which cometh down out of heaven from my God. 21. And I will write upon him my new name. And we already seen this thing about the white stone and a new name. Something about these Christians in the tribulation period. They're going to get new names. Jews. Somebody. I don't know what that is. I'm not going to say I know. 
He that has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says unto the churches. Now let's go back. Okay, the revivals, like I said, in this period were Whitfield, Wesley, Finney, Moody. 1793, William Carey began by going to India, the missionary, the missions program. 1793, is this church age? Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, 1793. I was, no, I'm looking at the wrong church. All right, yeah, 1881 is when this church... 1793, William Carey set off for India. That began the mission. That began England. Remember how the world would not set upon the, the English Empire? The, the sun never set upon England. Well, that sun never set upon England. Guess what England was doing? They were sending the King James Bible out all the world. You couldn't stop that Bible from going. That's the open door. Wait till, next, wait till tomorrow night's church, Lord willing. The pilgrims came over. Even though he was a Roman Catholic and was a Roman Catholic church, I guarantee that there was a Bible probably on Santa Maria and uh, the other Pinta and all the other beans. And, the pilgrims, 1620. Harvard, Yale, and Princeton were founded in America for the purpose of the Bible to be taught to American Indians so they could read the language, read the Bible, and go back to their tribes, go back to their people, and preach Jesus Christ. Now, you want to get that today. And they had not sent the Indians to their reservations yet. They would teach Indians the Bible so they would go back to their people and teach them Jesus Christ. That's Harvard, Yale, and Princeton. George Mueller, the man that, that took care of orphanages and all those people and relied 100% on prayer, is in this church age. Why are you going to even think about seeing a revival in America today? The Great Awakening was during this period. America wants that back, but you ain't going to get it back. Um... They said, we got the doctrine of works and grace. You got Roger Williams. You got Obadiah Holmes, Dr. Clark are working their ways in New England during this church age. And guess what Bibles they had? King James. This is the Bible that went from Rhode Island down to Virginia, made its way to Virginia, and boom. You wouldn't think that today down south. And I'm telling you right now, I'm, I, I'm from Connecticut. You, I'm down in Florida. Don't you boast about your religion down here because it's just as terrible as it's up north. In fact, sometimes it's even worse. Yeah. 1500 to 1900, the Roman Catholic Church loses its appeal. They were forsaking Rome. They were leaving the church. Glory to God. This is the part where you read Pilgrim's Progress, and he comes across, is he, I know he's in a cave. I forget how he puts the pole. i got to read that book again. I haven't read it in a while. But, and it tells you in the footnote that this is the, this is the pole. This is the pole system. It's dead. It's got no more teeth. It's coming back, I believe. Uh, why this church closed in 1881? Because the revised version of the Bible of England. In America, 1901. So if there's no revival happening in England, don't you think it's going to happen in America? And let me read something here about the Catholic Church. I found this quite interesting. Maryland. We know that is, don't you? Catholic George Culler sought charter from Charles I was granted to his son in June 20th, 1631. So, Roman Catholics are, are in this time settling in America. Named for Henry Eder Maria of France. Well, how come it wasn't called Mary Ed, uh, Harry Eder Land? Because the guy's a Catholic, so he named it Maryland of France. It was a place for <coughs> persecuted Christians in England. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. 
Ugh. They first arrived in March 1634. The first per permanent settle. Oh, I'm trying to read my notes. And they started the first city, the capital, St. Mary's City. This is the first capital of Maryland. It's okay. Its profit was tobacco crops. Its statehood was the seventh statehood, April 28, 1788. And here's its model. Manly deeds, womanly words. Manly deeds, womanly words, and they try to they try to bury that, try to say, well, that's not really what it meant. By the work of Jesus Christ, all was finished, but you can talk to Mary, can't you? If you're a Roman Catholic. I know exactly what that model means. You, know, you got a problem with Jesus and God, go, go to Mother. She'll take care of you. I just thought that was interesting. Should have been read during the late to see in church age, but we got enough mess about the lad to see in church age tomorrow, Lord willing. Some of you probably like, oh, Lord, don't come. I want to hear it. <laughs> but here we go.